Welcome to Italy and the iconic Lake Garda for the 2019 Pascucci Formula Kite World Championship. Campione Univella and Kite Campione will host the event under the stunning alpine scenery. Welcome everybody to the Formula Kite World Championship, Pascucci 2019. It's a record event for the Formula Kite class. We are super happy to host this kind of event. The Univella sailing uh, team is ready. It has been prepared this championship for more than a year. Everything is set up, the wind is blowing, nothing is missing. This year's World Championship is very special, as it will be the first event since the kite formula was awarded Olympic status for Paris 2024. 87 men and 30 women from 29 countries gathered in Lago de Garda, generating the biggest foiling fleet ever. These numbers show how this sport is growing and developing. Yeah, it's fantastic. Um, the whole winter, many of the girls have been com coming into the sport and training really hard every day. And it makes a massive difference because the race course just got way faster and more competitive. So that's really positive, but also it filters down to the rest of the sport of kite surfing. So from the beginning, when the children are growing up, they, they now have options to to join the, um, the club or to get trained up locally to become, to become racers. So yeah, for sure it's, it's encouraging all over the world for the sport of kiting. This kind of high level competition can't take place anywhere else than a sailing mecca like Lake Garda, as the conditions for foiling are ideal. Lake Garda is especially when you have uh, fresh water, you have the mountains around, so for a lot of competitors, it's something new. Uh, I come from the south of Germany, so I'm riding a lot on lakes. And uh, with the mountains, you have uh, different wind conditions. And yeah, for foiling, it's an amazing venue here because uh, you have just a small shop. Uh, so even a lot of sailing boats coming here for training. Uh, there's always the foiling week at Lago di Garda uh, with all different foiling classes. It's the first day of the competition and everyone is ready. Now is the time for the hard work to pay off as the competition begins under ideal weather conditions. With tight starts, close racing and crowded mark roundings, the colorful kites delivered a spectacular show for everyone who was there. After four races, the men's Nico Pallier dominated the fleet, scoring four bullets, just as Daniela Moroz did in the women's fleet. The second day of the 2019 Pascucci Formula Kite World Championship was really special for the kite formula class, on its way to the Paris Olympic Games. The new Olympic format was about to be tested for the first time, and the excitement in the air was palpable. Uh, so here we are, having our first go at running a relay event. For today's, today's racing, we have 22 teams entered, uh, which will be split into two, let's say, two divisions, two groups. The easiest uh, comparison is a normal two laps windward leeward race. Uh, with one athlete from each team starting uh, on a normal, let's say normal, the common and sailing upwind start. Uh, but after the first lap, the first athlete, which it will be depending on the race number, it will be either a male or a female, will have to cross, cross their changeover finishing line. And as soon as they finish, the first, as soon as the first team member finishes, the second team member is allowed to start. Everybody is eager to get going and to check out the new format. I think it's going to be fun. It's something really new because you have to keep in mind that you don't race for yourself, you race for the team. And you should predict, for example, where is your teammate, where you should start. So I think it, it makes everything uh, much more interesting. The world's fastest kiteboarders gathered to contest the new format. 
22 national teams with both men and women battled together for one medal. The race was all about tight starts, close fights and precision, but teamwork was the key for success, with the changeover area the point of particular interest. After 10 demanding flights, it was Team USA who emerged victorious, winning the title just one point ahead of Team France and with Team Russia in third. Today was the first um, overall team race format and it was pretty awesome to come away with the win for the US um, and pretty happy to see how it goes forward. Yeah, I really like it. I think it's cool that it gets so many more female into the fleet. Um, I thought the racing was pretty fun and competitive. Um, I think the changeover area worked pretty well um, and the overall format was pretty good. For this event we had the opportunity to test out the mixed relay format which was super exciting and just opens a whole other world of uh, opportunities and things we've got to think about. Teamwork's the first time that we have actually had to think about that ever in this sport um, but something that's going to keep pushing us forwards and something we've got to focus on more and more. Um, as we get closer to the games. Back to the individual racing and the penultimate day of the 2019 Pascucci Formula Kite World Championship, where the best of the best gathered in the gold fleet for the final stage and chance to grasp the title. With no room for mistakes, the race course was on fire. In near perfect foiling conditions, with breezes building during the afternoon from 6 to 11 knots, everyone gave their very best in the day's four races, with the reigning world champions keeping their lead heading into the final day. The final day will crown the new champions, and anticipation is high. But stormy winds prevented any racing. Nico Paglia won his third world title in a row, with Oliver Bridge in second, equal points with his fellow countryman Connor Bainbridge. I'm really happy to come on the first place. I felt really fast sometimes and, and the starts are insane those days. We were a fleet of 30 people in the Gulf fleet and it was crazy to see everyone, the crowd coming and, and starting all together. In the women's fleet, Daniela Moroz defended her title with Elena Kalalina in second and Brianna Whitehead completing the podium in third. I'm just really excited just knowing that all the hard work paid off and I made it another year. I think it was one of the most challenging regattas that I've been to. Um, I had so much fun. It was so cool to see so many more girls out um, and I'm really excited to see how the next year will be. Campione Univella and Kite Campione delivered a great event with everyone competing against the very best sailors in the world. The championship just finished. We did uh, a lot of regatta almost every day. Uh, we enjoy also uh, the second day the format uh, uh, with the relay. So we had uh, 22 teams uh, did a great regatta on, um, on a particular format with the relay. So it was the first official test event and all the riders uh, enjoyed it. So I think it's been a great success an entire week.